Paul, thanks for talking to us. It's three points and back to winning ways. What are your thoughts on that one? Delighted with the three points. Uh, obviously, you're not delighted, I suppose, in the manner that we go about it because probably the whole game probably covered more or less every aspect of where we're at as a team, as, a, as, as where the players are and ourselves because we show our fans our intent to go forward and create chances and score a, a goal. Sonia Luko playing really well and, and all of a sudden we just drift back into it. You know, we're a crew that are a very well drilled coach team, really good habits in the players, how they pass and move the ball. They're always going to have good moments in the game. And we miss one or two big chances that would have calmed probably the whole crowds, and we understand that. And then you feel the tension in the stadium, we feel it, the fans feel it, and I get it, I 100% get it, because that's what the team makes them feel. Yeah. And that's something that we've got to try and sort of take away. But you scored a goal, we scored an unbelievable goal from Zanti on the stroke of half time. And it should be really the Philip to go on and have a good afternoon but unfortunately for us you know and I think it's been a, a 20 games in now probably a common theme of our season is the unpredictability of what we're about to do and what we the consistency in our inconsistency and it's something that you know our supporters must really really not enjoy and I 100% get it for them. We got over the line but like you say it was a nervy finish but on the flip side the chances were there. It's, it's always going to be nervy when you've got any game, and we've seen a couple of late goals here this year, I think the Wimbledon one, whenever you've got a lead of one, the opposition will always have moments. The third goal in the game today was always going to be huge because crew will never go away. They've got them too well drilled, too well coached, good habits about them. So we have to put them away. If we don't put them away, they won't go away. And they never, and great credit to crew for that. Two minutes in, you probably thought, here we go. With us, no. You know, that's the truth of it. You know, I've watched this side now for a period of time. And unfortunately for us, no, you can't feel that. You know, you go back to Wickham away in, in games like that where it took a big Walton save on 3-1 on 76 minutes for us to go and enjoy the rest of the game. And games are always made up of big moments. And unfortunately for us at the minute, we've won today and we've got to be delighted with winning, but we probably haven't won how we want to do. With the utmost respect to crew, Paul, against the bigger teams and the stronger teams in this division, do we need to be better? Um, uh, 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 our consistency again, you know, you, you go to Wickham, you go to Pompey, you know, we played really well. You can debate it. Do you know, are our fans not so happy about a brand new team 20 games in? That's for the fans to judge. Do you know, when we put together this, this team at the start of the year, which we've done, there's no divine right to just be successful. Yeah. If supporters think that's going to happen, then they're probably not really aligned with football as it should be. Habits are ingrained over periods of time and unfortunately for us at the minute, we show some good signs of habits, but we show some terrible ones as well. We have to talk about Santi's goal, I mean, a moment of brilliance. Again, he, he's a fantastic young man, he loves football, he's always his pass to Bond was sublime and if Macaulay would have scored that, we'd have all enjoyed the game at 3-1 or 2, whatever it was. You know, Santi will always like games up because he's such a quality player.